All right, let's see. Let's see what else we can we can get. Am I encumbered? Yeah, I guess we we'll, we have to follow the scanner because it's a pretty. I don't know. Shit. I'm un I'm encumbered, so I can't do much. We'll just do caps lock. And we'll take in the sights of the city. Oh, look at that one. That looks nice. It's a sculpture. Just taking the sights in the meantime. There's a guard there. Foliage. Mixing up with the city. They're not taking very well good care of part of the city here. The lodge. Hold up to access. Wait, Talk. what? Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were Hank. here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Captain Todd. Did you guys hear that? He called me Todd. Thank you, Vasco. Appreciate you. You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. We appear to have a visitor. Mateo. Welcome to Constellation. Sarah. A lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, because I'm more interesting. Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. Doesn't matter. I have your artifact. Who are you? Who are you? Why don't we, <laughs> why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? Who, the, who do you think you are? Sarah who are Morgan, you? Chair of Constellation. That hmm. means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Mm, no. Why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation hmm. is? Very well. <laughs> okay. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. Okay. It's inherently dangerous work. So if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? He's dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I have your Excuse artifact. Me? I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunters guild. Vasco, verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, Vasco, <laughs> don't you dare. Victoria, following a Crimson Fleet attack. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit. Random. Hmm? Uh, it's procedural. And if we hadn't insisted employee. on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now, <coughs> let's focus on uh, what's in front of boy. us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Um, yo, mom. Uh, it was bright lights and music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, what is that thing was killing me? How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? It was bright lights and music. Though I have the music off. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience with less was it? embellishment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> embellishment. Vasco, you suck. You told him. What is that? What is that? If this is the Constellation guide the universe, is 01 permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. Is that a passive? Skill bonus acquired. <gasps> Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. 
We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. <laughs> it's just... That's it. Just dropped. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. Oh! That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You will have a <laughs> yeah. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence nah. outside the settled systems. Just collectibles. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager? Gotcha. You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? Cheeky smile. See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, what's expected? I don't know. I don't want to know. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. Judgment. And then, uh, how much do you know? How much do they cost? The artifacts. They're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity mm -hmm. from the uncharted reaches. Like any collectible. As to what you need the whole are, set, right? What they're building. Like Pokemon's. Well, mm. you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay, this is all a little much. Should I? Nah, whatever. All right, I'm in. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some <laughs> oh, of our members no. aren't here. I don't like the introductions. Come find me when oh. you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. You and I? And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. What again? Credits. credits any money? Didn't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out backpack? in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Oh, jetpack! Oh, they give me the jetpack. You guys give me the jetpack. It's awesome. Cool. Eight thousand. I need one hundred and twenty-five thousand. So you guys better start working on that. Um. All right. Let's see. I'm still sl <laughs> walking slow. Vasco, what's your name? Satisfied with the quarters available to you, Captain. Nice to meet now you. That you are a member oh. of Constellation. I am at your service. Vision. No Shoot additional systems. protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. A base. Alright, I could use you on my crew. Outpost development. What do you mean? You don't miss Barry when you tell me. Alright, I could use you on my crew, Vasco. I will proceed to my assigned post. Get it. Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ship or outposts. Frontier, Jameson, Alpha Centauri. Also, you can get different ships or something? I don't know. Alright. Let's get dressed. We look like a bum. We'll get this one. It's a little more chill. Mechanic. There you go. Alright, let's talk to these guys over here. We'll come talk to them in a bit. What's your name, sir? Walter. No, they said introduce. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. That's eh, okay. I am a rock breaker. Still doesn't. I've been it's been worse. 
My frustrations lie more thick with skin. Dad. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. Yeah, of course so, he did. Let's start over, shall we? He knows his shit. Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oh, of time. He's money bags. He's the one paying my apartment. Welcome aboard. My luxury apartment. Walter, as long as I keep getting your money, I am glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. What kind of company is Stroud Eklund? Most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense mm -hmm. spared. If you want the best cool. and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. There you go. This is the man. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that Just regard, spit on me. They're married to Deimos Star Yards. And those old salts are stuck in the glory days. <laughs> What's your role here, man? <laughs> Why, well, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and <laughs> all my go. success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. And what's your take? This isn't where I expect to find Funny a CEO. Thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Esoteric. Mm. For years. I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. Hmm. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. And um, what do you I think do this vision things. means? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Of course. Well, clearly the sarcasm center of your brain is intact. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, all right. this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Exciting. You okay? Next Let's see. Who are you? If my mouse cooperates, this what is, is that? All exciting, but oh, there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? All right, Matteo. Right. Who are you, you Matteo? Okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked oh. you. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. Free, You've done okay. something really significant, bringing my artifacts here. I'm Mateo. I matter? Theological scholar by trade, but now, Mateo. well, an explorer like you. I don't really fancy you, Mateo. You, you don't matter. <laughs> These artifacts all come came out of caves. What do you make the vision I saw? What brought you to constellation? All right. So what do you what do you make of the vision? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel Barrett like saw something trying too. to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Haha. <laughs> 
You think this was a religious Not experience? Not necessarily, no. But it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. Yeah, I guess. Well, either way, all I know is I've never experienced anything that like sure that. sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. More chasing. What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests i'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history i had made a really incredible discovery only to lose it to a greedy corporation so That's, i tried sounds to normal. back in the process i met walter turned out he owned the corporation after a long uh. talk we realized we had a lot in common and i was invited to join constellation yeah just watch out, he might fuck you all over again. These artifacts all came out of the caves, huh? Buried, the same as the one you found. Kazal. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Take care interesting, of yourself. Interesting, interesting. I've occasionally had my doubts about constellation. Noel, please tell me something interesting. Well, it's Are you gonna? Intense, wasn't it? <laughs> the artifacts I made. Sure. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for Intense. Right now. Not really. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you, and thank you for bringing the artifact to us. No problem. I figured something was gonna happen with that. Oh yeah, yeah. Sarah said something about somewhere I can Plenty crash. Sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you, and along the way, I, I mean, can give none. you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the. Line. No, I have my own apartment. Obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are outdoors right, well. there. If you need a moment of quiet. Hey, have you been up to the eye? Emphasis recently? on the quiet part. At least Shut up. I just don't know how he does it. Let's head upstairs. Up there all alone for so Just go now. Constellation's founder. I don't know who he's talking to. Decades ago. It was a big to do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Sebastian, is that Sebastian? Sir Sebastian Banks? I'm Sir Todd Hogwarts. <laughs> and who's that over there though? All right, what's this? So this is the mass bar. hall, Usually no the bar. Tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Yeah, no, no, now no, no reason. Ooh, it's got whiskey glasses and everything. Where's the whiskey? Okay, hold up. Where's the whiskey? Um, where's the whiskey, man? We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one. Sir Livingstone's left. journal. Sir Malcolm Livingstone's appointment to the role of Constellation Chair was controversial to say the least as he is essentially he has essentially bought his way into the position. Nevertheless, Banks' contributions to the organization were substantial as ever as evidenced by this excerpt from his personal journal. My next step is renovating the lodge. Sebastian Banks has the good sense to name the building appropriately, but it's time to inject a bit of old world grandeur. If we are to be the gatekeepers of art, science, culture, and exploration, our headquarters must express that. It's time I called in some favors and searched in those hidden corners of the settled systems to procure the things that would truly make this place come alive. There are some treasures from old earth that desperately need an appropriate home. Sir Livingston. Malcolm Livingston. So there's no whiskey. You're just teasing me. Oh, can I play darts? I had darts. <gasps> can I take one? I did. I can. <laughs> A cooking station. What? What can we cook? Alien sandwich. What do we got? I got bread. Yeah. Oh, yes. 
confirm. <gasps> Tasty. It's really nice. I like. I. I mean, the graphics look pretty good. I think. I mean, I don't know what it reminds me of. I think it reminds me of like um, prey graphics, maybe. Is it prey? A little bit, yeah. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Yeah, no, it looks nice. This is my room. Hold up, hold up. Where's my name? Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's cool. Right, she's gone. What can we steal from Mateo's room? Oh, weapon case. Inaccessible. Binoculars. Is this Mateo's room or Sarah's room? A notepad. Hold on, hold on. Close. Ooh. Oh, that's the frontier. Ooh. Uh, Moby Dick. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely. Having little or no money in my purse, nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. And so continues Melville's classic tale of revenge and obsession for a total of 341 pages. Go buy it and read it. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, hold up. Yeah, we got some stuff can put around here look at oh, oh no there you go I'm so sorry damn it there you go beautiful it's your turn I think we're naked. <laughs> well, I guess it's not Baldur's Gate, but semi. All right, yeah, I think that's enough for now. Uh, I'll keep going later. Keep moving on. Keep moving forwards with the mission. First impressions. Um, very fluid gameplay. No crashes. No problem playing it right now. I don't know if they launched any patches since they released uh, on the on for the reviews for the original launch which was september 1st for the premium buyers and then for the game pass and everybody else um launch i don't know if they made any patches but it, it, like right now it's pretty smooth gameplay wise well no i mean like uh technically wise um so i'm just hoping that it continues but um but yeah thank you guys for watching we'll keep moving uh later on uh hopefully the game will turn out better than a lot of reviews are going out there uh again it doesn't bother me the 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 loading screens don't bother me as much as other people but i understand the outrage of <laughs> the the amount of seams that the game has i can see people being very let down or disappointed I think a lot of people that are hyped, were hyped for it are probably not disappointed at all with the game. But those that were expecting more than they probably are. and that, But I think the majority were probably weren't expecting what they were selling. They already know this history of Bethesda and, and Todd. So and the thing is... Not not to point fingers or anything, but... Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sell what you promise, right? And if you don't sell what you promise you're gonna you're gonna have a negative outlook um it's interesting because yeah not like in youtube everybody is like some people like the game and the more they play they like more of it um i'm just saying there's other another side where they they think it's trash and, and their critiques are 
even though they're harsh they're fair at the same time like it's understandable like yes you can see why people are disappointed to an extent um i don't think it's complete trash i think they still did put up a product <laughs> that's playable and decent um but i mean we'll see we'll see what happens i mean i'll be playing this series for a while i'm expecting this um both far cry 6 and also baldur's gate well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to do far cry 6 as much as i can so i can just finish that game because it's not a boring game I'm, i am having fun playing it it's just i just want to dedicate myself in starfield and baldur's gate because when phantom liberty comes out man I'm, I don't know. I'm hyped for. I'm a little hyped for Phantom's uh, Liberty. Um, for Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty, just because they're re rebuilding the whole infrastructure in Cyberpunk, and I'm not talking about like the city. I'm talking about like the mechanics, especially the cop mechanics. It looks super badass. Uh, I want to go back to the game and play it, and if possibly make a whole series of the, of Cyberpunk itself. So. Like, literally just restart it from the beginning and play Phantom City as well. Hopefully everything's fixed with Cyberpunk. I'm not going to buy Phantom Liberty until, like, after it launches. This, again, I don't trust any of these. Until it gets reviews, you know. I don't trust any of these uh, companies anymore. Man, I, I got really burnt with Cyberpunk when it launched. And, uh, nah, not anymore. I can forgive if they hadn't hurt me. But they like monetarily they promise something that, and I, that's why i feel like a lot of people that are were very disappointed after fallout 76 with bethesda and now with starfield they they're not gonna take any more shit and i think the outreach towards it towards oh okay i feel like the outreach from the fans are like from the gamers are it's not necessarily that starfield is bad it's just that bethesda lies too much or envelops too much, embellishes too much information, and at the end of the day, they don't. They don't put out what is real and what it's, what it is. Which honestly, I feel like if they were transparent enough to say, like Starfield, yes, it's big, it's massive, but you can't necessarily do everything. It's not completely free. Obviously, they're not going to say that. They're going to try to sell the game. But at the same time, if you can't sell it in the way that you're selling it, then just don't say anything. You can omit information until the game comes out. But just don't over... Why the overhype? I don't understand. Like, why say things that are not there? Just don't say anything. If you don't want to, like... You know, as a salesman, you don't want to, like downplay your product i understand it but it's like anything the less is more the less you say is more and at the end of the day nobody gets disappointed you know um and i think that's what a lot of players are are mad about is more it's not uh, not necessarily that starfield is is bad i think it's more like the fact that star that Bethesda is not transparent and they kind of want to punish this company and the problem with that is that it does hurt the developers as well that you know they try to make uh the best game possible with the resources and the time that they had so that's the only bad part but <clears throat> you know the marketing aspect in Bethesda I don't know what's going on with that but I don't know who writes Todd's <laughs> scripts or whatever or how he embellishes his announcements but um you know it's not completely like I can tell it's not completely free and from what I've, from the reviews I've been watching like it's not free it's not fr it's not freedom there's no there's no like genuine freedom like in other games so don't downplay it but don't don't overhype it either and that's that was the that's the there's there's a there's a slight sense of respect and humility so i don't i don't want the i don't know we'll keep playing the game but um just to not overextend myself but we'll keep playing the game 
I'm sure it's gonna keep being fun. I mean, the combat is fun. There's a lot of shit to loot. Um, graphics look good. I mean, there's people that say ah, graphics aren't that bad, but aren't aren't too good. And honestly, they're not amazing. I agree with that, but they are pretty sharp. They look pretty nice, on my end. Um, hopefully, it looks just as good as a console and just as good as in in like lower tier PCs. I don't think mine is like high tier. I think my mine's like medium range. But yeah, I just hope you guys um, enjoyed the video or are enjoying the videos that are that I'm putting out. And uh, thank you for the support. If I get any new subscribers uh, within the time frame that I'm uploading this and Baldur's Gate and everything this month, thank you guys. Um, I really appreciate the support. Any likes that I get, again, appreciate them. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye.